COVID isn't canceling Christmas Eve services, but many of those services will look much different this year because of the pandemic. News 5's Ashley Portillo joins us live in Colorado Springs with a look at how one church is adapting. Hey Allison, Red Rock Church has been a staple in the community for years, but tonight they are holding a Christmas Eve service in a new location with a new name. So right now you can see behind me dozens of cars are parked out here in the church's parking lot and people still enjoying the holiday in a safe manner. Because of COVID, churches are making changes for Christmas Eve services. We've had to adjust everything, but we still wanted to create a safe and special experience for people to celebrate Christmas this year. First year lead pastor Petey Kinder says the Christmas Eve service is one of the biggest for the church this year in size and in message. You know, it's been a challenging year for everybody, and so this is this is one of those times when I feel like we can cling to the message of hope and love that we have in Jesus. This holiday season, the service is being held outside. Lights are hung and decorations are up, while people park their cars and listen to the service in their vehicle socially distanced. But everyone will kind of have their own space that we can keep everybody safe. So yeah, they'll stay in their cars and then the service will be broadcast over FM station. The last in-person service at Peak City Church was held in early November. And while this Christmas Eve will look a little bit different. It's the same message, right? I mean, it's the love and the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And so, you know, we're just excited that, you know, the people that are going to be showing up get to experience that. Hope is still being spread for the holidays. People just being separated, isolated. You know, there's just a lot of challenges right now for people and people just need that hope um, that Christmas offers. Two more services are being held tonight. Another one at 530 and the second one at 7. If you'd like to swing by, you do not need any reservations to attend. I'm told there is room for about 500 cars here in this parking lot. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. I'm Asha Portillo, News 5.